Craig, that was a, a tough game, a top of the table game. Uh, I kind of sense that it wasn't the best performance of the season, but you got the result. Yeah, it was important, uh, Callum, that we got the result tonight. Uh, it was really tough. F uh, our job were really physical. Um, was, but we, we knew that coming into the game, how the game was going to pan out and how physical we were going to be. And they made it difficult for us. Uh, and thankfully, we got the goals in the second half to, to get the result. Yeah, there wasn't too many chances in the first half. What did you see at half time? I think it was more uh, we need to be ourselves. We need to get on the ball, we need to make things happen. Um, we needed more movement, we just needed more of them all together. We were a wee bit sloppy and that, that tended to be fair into Airdrie's trap and made the game a wee bit uh, scrappy. And, and fair play to them, they dragged us into that. And second half, I think it showed that we came out and, and dominated a bit more on the ball and, and got the re rewards we deserved. I guess it was pleasing in a way, not playing well before the goals came. There's maybe only one standout opportunity, maybe one and a half chances that Airdrie had, which was, I guess, good defensively. They didn't really trouble you. Yeah, yeah, it was, it was pleasing always, always to walk away with Whereas result, especially coming to um, Airdrie's pitch and, and getting the three points. And what you rightly said earlier was a, a top of the table clash. So, no, it was very pleasing um, in terms of as we had plenty of chances, but just never converted them in that second half. So, we got there in the end, um, the last 15, 20 minutes. Yeah, it tells about the goals, you know, a couple of good, decent strikes in there. Yeah, we said that in the changing room there. Um, Nick Miller produced a wee bit of magic uh, for that free kick. We know that she's um, certainly capable of that. She's done it a couple of times this season. So when she lined up, um, I don't mean to be a bit arrogant, but we, we kind of knew where it was going. It was going in that top corner and it was, it was getting nestled. Um, the second goal was, was another well-worked goal. Um, and Natasha, who doesn't score many, um, cracked one in for 20, 25 yards off the bar and then and um, the last one with Carly is a corner kick that we always work on and, and thankfully um, she stuck that one away which she's in a good vein of form scoring goals I think that's maybe three, or, three in the last three or four and four so including her first team goal so pleased for them all to get their goals Absolutely and going forward how will this build is the top of the table game a win how will that build heading towards the summer? Yeah, we need to take that on board. We've still got a few games to play um, before the break, so I think that's us jumped above um, Airdrie now in goal differences as well as points. So I think we need to take that into the next game, uh, league game against Broxburn, and, and we're going to that, prepare the right ways, do the right things, get the kids back on, on the park and do, do what we do best and play football. Well done, thank you, Craig. Cheers, thank you very much.